Closer connection, and this is promised to be one great match. And you can hear the music for the Coastal Connection. The Coastal Connection. We're going to take a look at one of the hottest tag teams in professional wrestling. Oh, what a crowd pleaser these guys are. They have just come on stronger and stronger as we go along here on World Organization Wrestling. Chuck Wilson, David Baxter, action. Oh yeah. Referee in there is Ray Hall. CJ, you know this Coach Connection is one of the hottest tag teams on uh, anywhere in the country and you find it right here on WOW Wrestling. And this is a great, that's gonna be a great match. Kerry Booth, along with Pat Rose, the former World Heavyweight Champion. That's right. There's your hard collar and elbow. Wilson takes Rose up to the side of the ropes and breaks clean. Oh, gee, I tell you what, Pat Rose is going to work on Chuck Wilson already. Some hard forearms. Oh, Wilson. Tremendous elevation there. Oh. Man, they're just cleaning up already on Rose and Rose's days. He's got to get his thoughts collected over here, Bob. That Rock. is true. They really teed off on Pat Rose. They really have teed off on Pat Rose. This close to connection. They They've got the Patty signs. saying that that was a fist and not the open hand there. See the signs, the crowd, coastal connection number one, Chuck, David, and Bobby. In the ring, Pat Rose and Chuck Wilson. Tag is made. Oh, David Baxter lands all over the arm of Pat Rose. Pat Rose taking him down by the hair. Pat Rose taking David Baxter down by the hair there. You can't take anything away from Pat Rose. Great takedown. Pat Rose, even though he is no longer the World Organization Wrestling U.S. Heavyweight Champion, at this time, he's still a great wrestler. And I have to apologize to the wrestling fans, if I could. I had said uh, before that Pat Rose, I felt, had a chip on his shoulder, and this and that and the other thing. And, you know, Pat Rose never did really have a chip on his shoulder. He was the champion, and he was doing whatever it took. That, that is so you know, true. And so he changes his style a little bit. He gets more aggressive, but he had to. And he's got his hands full now with David Baxter. CJ, this coastal connection is just terrific, man. As Pat Rose is just laid flat out. He's... Pat Rose will be back. You can count on that. Pat Rose is a heck of a competitor. CJ, as you know, WOW is on the road again. Do not forget now that all of our friends up in the Evergreen area, August the 24th, that's on a Monday night at the National Guard Armory at Evergreen, Alabama. On Saturday night, August the 29th, we'll be at Faulkner State Junior College. On that, on that card will be Bob Sweet and the Coastal Connection, Jerry Stubbs, and many more. That's right, that's a Bay Manette. Don Fargo, Mike Diamond on that card in the uh, Bay Manette area. Faulkner State Junior College on the 29th. And again, don't forget wrestling at the Municipal Auditorium in Pensacola, Sunday night. And it'll be tomorrow night at 8.30. Oh, Kerry Booth just lays one into David Baxter. Covers made, Baxter kicks out at two. Kerry Booth. 
reverse headlock. Gary Booth has come a long, long way. He really have. You see him slam David Baxter into the knee of Pat Rose. And he, he, he's a fast learner. Oh, yeah. Pat Rose. You can't take it away from Pat, Pat Rose. Rose carried him to a two count. David Baxter is all hard in there. They're just going at each other now. Trading shots. Oh! I don't that? think David, I don't think David want to exchange with Pat Rose. Pat Rose is a man possessed in there now. He sets up. Oh, what a tremendous shot Baxter took. I would, think then, I would think then Pat Rose could have went for the pin and he'd give him a break there. And you always find this is where the action at, W.O.W., World Organization Wrestling. David Baxter is over in no man's land. He's got to get out there, make the tag, get in a fresh Chuck Wilson right now. But so far, Kerry Booth and Pat Rose now have it their way as Baxter tries to make a comeback, and it looks like he's starting to get some results. Booth gives him a hard legal shot across the chest, hard into the turnbuckle, and a knee into the midsection. Wearing the man down, Papa Rock. It really is, CJ. And as we had stated earlier, you know, this was going to be one terrific match here with Pat Rose and Kerry Booth, Chuck Wilson, David Baxter of the Coastal Connection. Kerry Booth just laying those forearms into David Baxter. Oh, look at that. Oh, gee, I'll tell you, I keep getting impressed more and more with Kerry Booth. Hooks the leg. Baxter just made it. Just did kick, just did make it. Just did kick out in time. The team of Kerry Booth and Pat Rose are just going to work all over the Coastal Connection right now. David Baxter got to make that tag. Baxter's he hurting out in of there. there. He's hurting bad. No, not a veteran like Pat Rose. Rose has still got the champion's heart, but you can't take anything away that from is David so Baxter. True. Look at that slam by Pat Rose on David Baxter. Off the ropes. Oh, he telegraphed that. Baxter had enough left to get out of the way. Both men are, should be looking for a tag right now. Baxter. It appears doesn't seem to know where he is. Pat Rose still wrestled as a true heavyweight champion, you know. There's your the tag. tag is made. Oh, Pat Rose just ran into Fred Chuck Wilson. Wilson's starting to clean up now. Booth walked into a forearm. Chuck Wilson. Baxter wants some of it. Right now, I don't know who the legal wrestlers I, I are. Really, I really don't. I don't think our senior oh referee, goodness, Ray Pat Hall, Rose knows either. Just throw Chuck Wilson out of the ring. Into the rope. Wilson goes. What's. Oh, did you... oh, and it's full package. Oh, oh what... great. Products are packaged for value and convenience. It's true of donuts, bars of soap, cases of soda. Even long distance has been packaged for value and convenience. With AT&T's Reach Out America plan. It gives you long distance by the hour, not by the mile. Just phone 1-800-821-7900 to get an hour of AT&T calls every month, all across the country, to any other state, all for our lowest price ever just eight dollars you can call as far as hawaii puerto rico and the u.s virgin islands even alaska they're all packed into reach out america so are your faraway friends and family and you can talk to them all every month if you're willing to spend just eight dollars 
there's just one thing to remember. In order to get an hour of calls every month, all across the country for just $8, you have to call during the plan's hours. But that's the easy part, because the plan is packed with hours. You get all day Saturday and Sunday until 5 p.m. So while you're relaxing on the weekend, you can relax on the phone. You can even call every night starting as early as 10 p.m. You can use your hour any way you like, and extra hours cost even less. It's all packed into Reach Out America. And it can be yours if you phone 1-800-821-7900. Do it now to get an hour of AT&T calls every month all across the country for our lowest price ever, just $8. There's even a way to get a 15% discount on calls as early as 5 p.m. To order the plan that could help your long-distance dollars go farther, call toll-free 1-800-821-7900. That's 1-800-821-7900. I'd like to order AT&T's Reach Out America. Call now and enroll in AT&T's Reach Out America, the long-distance plan that's packed with value and convenience. Wrestling fans, at this time, Mr. Perfect, Jerry Stubbs, on the podium with me. Well, you know, it's obvious that I'm back. You know, as they say in Poltergeist, I'm back. And I'm back for one reason, and that's to get Bob Sweetang and run him slap out of here where I can go to the bank and pay my note. Because that $10,000 that they put up for Bob Sweetan's head, I'm going to collect. Because, you know, I only took it out for 30 days, and my bankers will be calling me, telling me, hey, you got a $10,000 note over here that you got to pay. I said, well, hey, I'll be there because I'm going to be the one to collect the money. I told you that. And Mr. Perfect's word is good as gold. Now, Bob Sweetan, you've run. You've hide, but look, you wonder, come on and get me, come on and get me. Well, I'll get you when I'm ready. Do you understand? I'll pick my day, I'll pick my night. It may be in a parking lot, you don't know, but when I do it, I'm gonna collect my $10,000. Now look, these people out here love me, you can tell, right? You can tell these people out here love me. Well, Bob Sweetan, I know you don't love me because I'm after your head, and when I get your head, I'm going to put that money in my pocket. Because like I said, I've already bought me a new suit of clothes, and i got to pay for all my goods. You know what I mean? Now, Bob Sweetan, quit hiding, because I'm going to be the man to get the money. Now, I keep harping on the money, because it's mine. The man promised it to me, and I promised the man that I'd get your head, and that's what I'm going to do. Jerry Stubbs. Money talks. Money makes the world go round. Well, you just Money talks to me, Pavarai, right, but right. it says one thing. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, I, right. I just can't even save a cent half the time. Okay. Here we go. W.O.W. Wrestling in the ring. The television champion, the marvelous one, Marcel Pringle from That's Mobile, right. Alabama. That's true. He's going up against... Surfer Joe. This is Surfer Joe Fisher. You know, we always see a new faces. You can always yeah. count on seeing new faces here on World Organization Wrestling. And this is really where the action is, right here on World Organization Wrestling. Marcel Pringle of Mobile, Alabama, taking on Surfer Joe. Can't take anything away from Marcel Pringle. You know, he never complained about not getting a title shot. He, he just took his time. Professional wrestler that he is. He got his shot and he took advantage of it. And he got his belt to prove that. Right. And he's also now going for the World Organization Wrestling U.S. Heavyweight Champ to go along with the television That title. is so true, you know. He put out a challenge to the heavyweight champion, uh, Bob Holly. Right. And so we all looking forward to that great match here at World Organization Wrestling. Marcel Pringle wants it all, and you can't blame the wrestler. He is effective, methodical, effective. But you know the terrific part about this with Pringle going for the World Heavyweight Championship, you know, both of these young men are from Mobile, Alabama. And you know That's we- That's right, <laughs> yeah. We'd like to say hello to our wrestling fans viewing us on Channel 15 WPMI, Pensacola, Mobile area also. 
great fans in the Fort Walton Beach area viewing us on Channel 35. Panama City, Channel 13. We're along the coast on Gulfport and Biloxi on Channel 25, WXXU. And we don't want to forget our great wrestling fans in Georgia. In Albany, Georgia on Channel 31 and Channel 15 in Griffin, Georgia. We love you and we enjoy the letters that we receive here at the World Organization Wrestling offices. Keep the letters coming in. If there's anything that I can do for you, Papa Rock can do for you, send letters in. If we can get you an autograph, feel free to send us a letter and we'll do our best. We most certainly will, CJ. And we'd like to also remind all of our wonderful friends up at uh, Evergreen, Alabama, that World Organization Wrestling will be at the National Guard Armory there. That's on Monday, August the 24th. That's at the National Guard Armory at Evergreen, Alabama. Six guys on the uh, oh. on the card will be the Coastal Connection, Bob Sweetan, Jerry Stubbs, and many, many more. Heck of a match going on now between Surfer Joe Fisher and the World Organization Wrestling Television Champion Marcel Pringle. Carl Roach is the referee in there. Pringle just gives one to Fisher in the back. Shoots him into the ropes. Hard elbow on country, uh, Surfer Joe. Why don't I don't call him Country Joe. I <laughs> That's this a musician. Surfer Joe. <laughs> Surfer Joe Fisher. He's new to the World Organization Wrestling family. Well, you know, CJ, you always find many new faces here on World Organization Wrestling. And you know, we always invite those that feel that they have the talent and that can keep themselves in good physical condition and what have you and train hard. Then come on to World Organization Wrestling because we do have many new faces here on World Organization Wrestling. Pringle's got server Joe Fisher up there. What's he gonna do with him? What's he gonna do with him? Oh, well, that answers that question. There's your three count. There's your winner, World Organization Wrestling Television Champion Marcel Pringle. We've got a special interview coming up. But first, we're going to take this commercial break, and we'll be back with more wrestling action. take a break here as was previously planned or go to that interview Pringle is just putting a physical beating on Surfer Joe trying to hurt the man and here comes Bob Holly Holly wants a piece of Pringle right now this is this is what Pringle been wanting for so long he Look really wants Bob Holly right now. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to take a commercial break. We'll be back with more wrestling action on World Organization Wrestling. Tomorrow night in Pensacola, Florida, We'd like to fight all of our fans out from 11 and under. We'll get in free a company with an adult. Me, David, and hopefully Bobby will be at the door to give these out to the first 100 people. Tomorrow night in Pensacola, we have a match, a Texas Tornado match with Don Fargo and Mike Diamond. You know what that means, gentlemen? That means that it's head to head, one on one, two on two, so to speak. Because tomorrow night in Pensacola, you're not going to be able to do nothing about us except lay there and take it. When I say lay there and take it, you know the little dog, when you kick it, how it lays there and it takes it when it loves you? You're going to be loving us tomorrow night because you're going to lay there and take it and take it and take it till we decide you had enough. Bobby's hurting. We hope Bobby will be there tomorrow night. 
If he's not, it's going to even be more pain on you. Because I hate to say it, guys, you hurt a brother. You hurt the man that ties us together. Right. And I'll tell you one thing, you'll suffer. Mike Diamond, Don Fogo, look at this. You see this? This is called a neck brace. You see that Bobby's wearing one of these, but I'm not. No, no, me or Chuck's not wearing this. No neck brace for us. We're going to come pit the collar with you. It's going to be a Texas tornado match. Everything, anything. We're going to be on you like nothing you ever seen. Pensacola will be ready, and we will be ready. World Organization Wrestling is coming to Pensacola with a back-to-school special. Sunday, August 23rd, all children with a parent admitted free. Plus, the first 100 kids receive a free wrestling booklet. $10,000 bounty to Killer Qaddafi managed by world-famous Spudnik Monroe. If he retires, Bob Sweetan. A Texas Tornado match with Wild Man Fargo and the Crazy Mike Diamond versus the Coastal Connection. Marcel Pringle versus Bob Holly and other matches. WOW hits the road coming to Faulkner State August 29th and to Evergreen, Alabama August 24th. World Organization Wrestling is coming to you. We're back. Another great match coming up on World Organization Wrestling. Joining me, Larry Pearson. And Larry, you know more about Mr. Perfect than I do. This is my first look at Jerry Stubbs. Actually, my second look. We saw him last week. CJ, I can say this is about Jerry Stubbs. He's been in the business a long time. He was the North American heavyweight champion. Uh, Rassler Smith, the Olympian, one of the toughest wrestlers in the sport today. Uh, Stubbs is really coming here on fire for this $10,000 bounty against Bob Sweetan. Uh, since he's already borrowed the money, already spent the money, very confident about taking it. I can certainly say one thing about Stubbs and knowing him. He's a man that can do the job. I don't know if he will do it or, or what chances he may get, but he's certainly capable of doing the job. He looks like he's in tremendous shape. Jerry Stubbs is, is a very strong wrestler. Uh, besides that, he's a very smart and intelligent wrestler. He knows more about this business than, than, than a lot of people in the business today through his experience. So, so he has the capabilities. Going up against a, a newcomer, Gene Hart here, who's, who shows some good potential on WOW wrestling. Yes, he does. He's getting an education here, Larry. Oh, gee. Well, you can certainly get one against a fellow like oh. Jerry Stubbs, and it don't take you long to get it. He'll dish it out to you, and you better be ready when you get in there with him. Oh, he enjoys this, too. Stubbs is enjoying this. Come along with a headbutt, then. That'll certainly rock your cage, CJ. Go oh, over that throat area. You that pop, that? you could have heard that a mile away. Shoots him into the ropes. Oh, yeah. Took him down with that elbow to the throat also there. As yeah. you said, CJ, this young man, Gene Hart, is getting a lesson in professional wrestling right now with, with uh, Mr. Perfect Jerry Stubbs. Stubbs gives him a legal shot, legal kick with an open. Stubbs will use every tactic available to him. You can bet on that. He appears to be very confident in there, Stubbs does. Yes, he, he does. Appears, appears to be very confident in what he's here for. There he goes with that souffle. That'll, that'll take that back and go up that spinal cord. And heart kicks out. Yes, Two he counts. does. So, very determined young wrestler. Stubbs is enjoying this. You can see it on his face. Comes around with that Woo! bite to the jaw. Another one there, CJ. Yeah. As you say, Stubbs is looking very confident, very cocky out there in the ring, and just walking around, showing this stuff off to the fans. Stubbs has got it all his way in this match. Mr. Hart might be a little overmatched, but then again, he will learn a lesson from Wait. this. You can't ever tell, you know, the thing about getting overconfident in one of these matches, CJ, any given day of the week, when you got an opponent out there, you got problems. Oh, one of the simple things, that man. power slam was rough. That's one of the most fearsome and awesome power slams I believe I've seen in the bed. There he goes again, CJ. Uh, Stubbs gets his opponent down. It, it appears he could have won that match then. He should have gone for the three count, and, and instead he just pulls the man up from the mat. Ray Hall could have counted until tomorrow, I think, on that one. I think so, too. I don't know what Stubbs has in his mind. Uh, you know, the thing is, get out here and win the match and wrestle and try to do the best you can. Humiliating people and just showing off this. Look at that. Here he comes with that suplex right, again. Uh, He's got him up there. Oh, that, there's that, a that was an awesome suplex. breaker. He had him up there, CJ. Now, Lateral press, two, three count. No oh. doubt about it. No doubt about it. Your winner, Mr. Perfect, Jerry Stubbs. We're going to take this commercial break. We'll be back with more action. Wrestling. 
Someone at this table has a disease, a disease that affects everyone it touches, a disease with the power to destroy lives, marriages, entire families. The disease is alcoholism. Fortunately, help is available at Parkside. For more than 25 years, Parkside has helped individuals and their families overcome alcohol and drug problems and live normal lives again. Parkside, the healing begins the moment you call. If you can guess the secret of this beautiful diamond cameo pendant, you'll be eligible for a special publicity bonus. Now, watch closely. The secret is that this beautiful diamond cameo pendant contains a secret locket. And inside the locket is this beautiful quartz watch. How much is this beautiful diamond cameo pendant watch? Not hundreds of dollars, but only, are you ready? An astonishing $10 during this special publicity campaign. Here's the special publicity bonus I said you could get. If you phone for your diamond cameo style pendant right now, you can have this matching diamond cameo wristwatch for only $5, just half price. To order, call toll-free 1-800-453-3303. That's 1-800-453-3303. Save COD charges by using your Visa or MasterCard. Call now, 1-800-453-3303. That's 1-800-453-3303. Mr. Introducing Oreo Big Stuff. Who do you think you are? Oreo Big Stuff. Oreo Big Stuff. Who do you think you are? New Oreo Big Stuff. More chocolate. More cream. You're big and satisfying. Taking you with me all the time. Oreo Big You make me laugh. I like the funny things you do. You got a style that's all your own. I like the sprite in you. You make me want to smile. You know you make me sparkle too. You're such a kick and I'm around. I like the sprite in you. Sprite, the only one with Lyman. The unexpected twist that makes us different, livelier, special. I like the sprite in you. Rip Tyler back with another version of Rip's Corner. We have another tape this week from the mysterious gentleman who has put the bounty on Bruiser Bob Sweet Tan. As you fans know, several people have tried to no avail to, to cash in on this bounty on Sweet Tan's head. And again, as we did last week, I'm going to play a tape that was sent to us by this gentleman who we again don't know who he is. We don't know uh, exactly what his reasons are. But I'm going to play this tape, and as boring as it seems, I think it's very pertinent to what's happening in the World Organization Wrestling right now. And then we'll get to my special guest for the day, two gentlemen who are dressed up like Sunday go to meet and preachers, and we'll get with them in just a minute. First of all, let's go to this tape. I want you to listen to this tape. Hey, Dan. You still lucky. No by that come. Do what she want. You hurt. You cripple. You suffer. Ten thousand dollars. I have camel, much camel. Much oil. Much wealth. I buy. I pay. Bodyguard. More bodyguard. Maybe more money. Ten thousand, sweet Dan. Ten thousand. Someone will hurt you. One wrestler, one bodyguard, hurt you suffer. Okay, as you can hear, that the gentleman, whoever he is, is still repeating over and over and over again about Sweet Tan and about uh, about the bounty, and he seems bound and determined. We're making a desperate effort to find out who the gentleman is. We've invited him. We've sent back to the address on the envelope. We're getting the tapes in. We've invited him to appear on World Organization Wrestling, and to this time, we have even not received an answer. We haven't received a reply of any kind. Okay, now, on to my special guest on this segment of Rip's Corner. Two gentlemen, if I knew you were going to dress like this, uh, I would have put a coat and tie on. 
to my right, Wild Man Don Fargo, and on the other side, Crazy Mike Diamond. Don, what is the occasion? Well, first of all, I want all the women out there to eat their hearts out because they're looking at the two well best dressed wrestlers in the business today. You people think we don't have clothes because we dress funny. We just wore it to show you that we do have clothes. We have everything. You know, I wore a suit when I graduated from the state pen. I mean, from Penn State is the last time I wore a suit. And I put it on today to show you people I still got it, and Mike's got his. And we can dress any way we want to because we do have class. We got more class in our little finger than any of these wrestlers or any of these stumble bums around here got. Now, we wrestle as the mercenaries. We wrestle as the mercenaries because we are mercenaries. We wrestle as football players. We wrestle as basketball players or baseball players. It don't matter how we come to the ring. We come to the ring to win, and we win. We proved our point many times. We have hurt many wrestlers, and we're going to continue doing it. Dress has nothing to do with it. It's our skill. brain behind it all. Don, I want to ask you a question. And I, you promised me that you wouldn't bring up the reasons that it's a mercenary deal or your causes that you're fighting for. But I know in the last few weeks, weeks your attitude's changed and you've gone to winning matches to get disqualified and you've eventually gone to drawing a paycheck because of that. And and again, you, you, you promised me you wouldn't bring up your cause and I know it has something to do with the Central America but we won't go into that. Now, I want to ask you, the question I want to ask is this. Why the big change? Why all of a sudden now have you decided you're going to go to beating people instead of beating up the referees? For the simple reason is this, is a lot of fans looked at us and said, you guys can't wrestle, you cut the easy way out, you get disqualified, you can't beat nobody. So that made me hot. Crazy here got tired of paying fines, I got tired of paying fines. So there ain't going to be no more fines. We're going in the ring to win. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, we get paid as mercenaries. We might disappear for a while to take care of a few odd jobs to get paid. The same thing as we do in wrestling. We get paid, and we get paid good. We don't fight for no cause. We fight for the money, me and Crazy. Sometimes Crazy still played up here, slips a little bit. He gets a little goofy, but I can keep him under control. That's the most important thing. Okay, Mike, uh, you do fill up the talking. Of course I'm still up to talk. It's true, sometimes I'm not quite at home up here, I realize that. But the boat's in right now, I'm home, I know what I'm doing, I feel real good. I don't have to say a whole lot more because he just about said it all. We can dress any way we want to dress. That's what's good about being the way we are. If we want to come out here in a bathing suit or a, with an army helmet, we can do that or our nice clothes, whatever we feel like doing. Well, I know that your wife is glad that you have decided to dress properly and, and quit getting in her drawer because, uh, you have uh, worn some shorts and things that I'm sure that didn't come out of your wardrobe. Another thing I'd like to bring up about these two guys, the WOW is starting their tag team tournament, the tournament for the tag team champions. This tournament is taking place now out west and will begin to resolve and work its way back here to our area in the very near future. So you wrestling fans out there in the next few weeks are gonna have an opportunity to see elimination matches throughout the WOW area concerning the new champion, the new tag team champions, and the eliminations are starting now. So I know Wildman Fargo and I know Crazy Mike are gearing up for this, and they may be fooling you people, but they're not fooling me. I know what they're after. They're after tag team belts. They haven't even mentioned them, but I know that's what they're after. And I also know one other thing. For you wrestling fans out there who are watching the world of organization wrestling, I want to say this to you. Each and every week, we're bringing in different, more, bigger, better, and the whole thing for you wrestling fans out there. At the end of the program, an address will come up on the screen. If you have any questions concerning World Organization Wrestling in your area, please feel free to drop us a card and we'll get back to you. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with more of World Organization Wrestling right after these words. Stubbs, you've done everything possible to try to get me angry. Why, well, you've done it. You've run in on matches. You've aggravated me here on TV. But what you did last week here in Pensacola, that's the straw that broke the camel's back. That's right, you give me your famous brain buster up on the stage, on the hardwood floor. Yeah, you hurt me. You hurt me real good. But that's not all you've done. You've made me angry, Stubbs. 
very angry. And when I get angry, I do something about it. I'm not going to stand up here and cry and complain about it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get even. And when I get even, that means I'm going to put the hurt on somebody. Sure, Stubbs, I'm not going to take a thing away from you. You're big and you're bad and you're tough. I know that. I've seen you in action before. I've seen you in action all over the country, Louisiana, Texas, everywhere. And you've had things your own way. Well, let me tell you something, Stubbs. The man that you're working for, the man that put up the bounty, he's not from this country. He's not a good old American boy like I am. And that makes me very angry that you're that type of a person, Stubbs. You don't care where you get your money from. You figure it's all green. Well, let me tell you something, Stubbs. Ten grand, ten thousand dollars, that's a lot of money to have on somebody's head. That makes me worried, yeah. I'm looking over my shoulder. I'm wondering what's going on. But I've got one thing on my mind, that's Jerry Stubbs. Because all the bounty hunters in the world aren't going to make me worry as much as you. But Stubbs, when you step in the ring with me here in Pensacola, you're all mine. World Organization Wrestling is coming to Pensacola with a back-to-school special. Sunday, August 23rd, all children with a parent admitted free. Plus, the first 100 kids receive a free wrestling booklet. $10,000 bounty to Killer Qaddafi managed by world-famous Spudnik Monroe if he retires Bob Sweetan. A Texas Tornado match with Wild Man Fargo and the Crazy Mike Diamond versus the Coastal Connection. Marcel Pringle versus Bob Holly and other matches. WOW hits the road coming to Faulkner State August 29th and to Evergreen, Alabama August 24th. World Organization Wrestling is coming to you. go we're back wrestling fans i'm cj whitmore along with larry pearson this day in the ring is ollie Pasha and tom boogaloo south you hear the music no doubt who's coming out right now this promises to be one heck of a wrestling match born in the usa and proud of it it's bob sweetan in the ring with bob sweetan the World Organization Wrestling United States Heavyweight Champion, Bob Holly. CJ, I noticed in this match that Tom Boogaloo Shaft seems to have something wrong with his hand. He's bandaged up. He's talking to the referee now. That there's some bandages on that left hand appearing to be injured. Uh, some type of injury to it. Now, this is supposed to be a tag team match. Here we go. Exciting evening here in the studio tonight with this Shaft, match. Right. Shaft complaining about his hand. And Sweetan is in there against Ali Hasha. And we had a look at him last week. I tell you, CJ, I was totally amazed at this Ali Pasha. And again tonight, he's coming in here. He's a powerful man, very strong. Uh, we've heard the tapes. We've heard the $10,000 bounty over and over again. This man's the bodyguard uh, of a man that Sweetan and 82 hurt. What's happening here on Stubbs has come out to the ring here, CJ. Uh, hollering to Ali Pasha and Sweetan. Stubbs just came in here. I don't know what happened here. It seems like Tom Shaft has stepped out and Jerry Stubbs has just come and tagged and, and gone right into the match. I don't... Oh, and Sweetan coming back, and he's mad. Sweetan takes Stubbs and just throws him down. Again, two body slams. Here comes three, and you're counted out, baby. Whoa! Okay. I'm telling you, C.J., Bob Sweetan come on strong with Jerry Stubbs in. I don't know what's happening here, why he's coming to the ring, why he interfered in this match, or just what the situation Stubbs, is. Look at that. Stubbs just telling. Look at it that. appears that Stubbs decided he didn't want any of it. Uh, Stubbs wants no part of it. Stubbs is leaving the TV studio and they're going back toward the dressing area. I don't know what's happened. Stubbs came out and interfered with the match. Sweetan done three or four body slams on him, and next thing I know, Stubbs is taking an exit. I don't know, C.J., what's happening here. Great leg scissor there. Bob Holly put on Pasha, Ali Pasha. Last week, we saw our first look at this big, powerful wrestler. Tips the scales at some 325 pounds, Larry. I'm telling you, Sujay, he's an awesome man from the Republic of the Sudan. Of course, at this time, Sweetan has the advantage. Him and Bob Holly working on that left arm. Of course, he goes in now. He's tagged out to Tom Schaff. He's coming in the ring. And... Schaff buries one into Sweetan's midsection. Goes to work. Pitch is choking, choking him. him there, CJ. Choking him with that bandage? Yeah, he is. 
It appears yeah. the band just come off of Tom Shaw's hand, which tells me that his hand wasn't hurt. I was going to say his hand, he just had a, a miraculous... I don't know. I tell you, it's totally confusing. This $10,000 bounty has got these wrestlers in the uproar. They're in a season. frenzy, aren't they, Larry? They're in a frenzy. This money, $10,000 bounty that a mysterious person has put on Bob Sweetan. Whoever puts Bob Sweetan out of the wrestling business will collect 10 grand. I tell you, I don't know who this man is, CJ, that sent these tapes in here, but I can tell you one thing. It appears he's serious about taking Bob Sweetan out of the wrestling business. Bob Holly in there. Shaft just throws Holly into the turnbuckle. Tell you what, yes, that'll knock the wind out of you in no time. Jeff just picks Holly up and body slams him. We got ourselves a heck of a tag team shot here. Shoots him into the rope. Oh, jeez, I've never awesome. seen anything like that. That was like an that. awesome backdrop, it CJ. Wow. Well, Sweet Tan's back in the ring now. Sweet Tan's upset. You know, the thing that, that I have to ask a question about, CJ, is, is what's going through Bob Sweetan's mind? What goes through a man's mind who, who has a $10,000 bounty out on him, who has all these wrestlers coming in? He knows they're targeting after one person. He knows they're targeting after him. We saw right here in this match, Jerry Stubbs coming in the match trying to get Sweetan. Yeah. He don't know what's going to happen. He don't know when it's going to happen. You know, I just wonder what's going through his mind. Oh, you got to feel. I've got a feel for a, a wrestler like Sweet Tan. He can take care of himself in the ring. When you have that kind of money on your head, you got to watch yourself going out the, the, the park, into the parking lot after the match. Just the mental, the mental anguish and mental yes. pressure has got to be doing its toll on him. You can tell it in his face. You can tell his concern. Uh, there's a lot going through that man's mind right now. Bob Sweet Tan can take care of business in that squared circle. But this $10,000... A bounty that they have on Bob Sweetan's career, if you will. Shaft comes in. What action. This Ollie Foster is a big man. He is an awesome man. Just watching him in that ring working. When this man buries a, a forearm or a leg, you know, it, it, to some viewers it, it, it might look like slow motion, but I tell you, when you put 325 pounds and you put the leverage on the guy, some of these forms, CJ, look yeah. like an oak tree hitting you. Yeah. And then Shaft is, he is no little man himself. And Holly's hanging in there. They're changing blows, slashing the chest area now. Here comes Sweet Hand back into the ring now. Oh, man, that came from left field. Oh. Bob Sweet Hand trying to do it all himself. Sling set, close lines, Tom Shaft. Shaft's out. There's no doubt through all this, CJ, Bob Sweetan's holding his own. There's no doubt about his abilities. As you mentioned earlier, he's a wrestler. He's tough. He's awesome. And, and he's holding his own with it. Look at that. He's yelling at Holly. Look at this. Look at this. This is going to be a collision. Sweetan, is, is he going to put it on him? He's got it on him. He put it in him. He did it, CJ. He, he, did, he it. did it. The pile driver. He That's what he's known he for. He did it with it. I haven't seen the pile driver from Sweet Tan in weeks. Bob Sweet Tan's known for it. That's his move. No man in the business does it any better than he does. There's your winners, Bob Sweet Tan and Bob Holly. We're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be back with more action on World Organization Wrestling. Don't go away. Old timers versus Central High. Okay, youngster, you can give it goodbye. Damn. Round in the bases. Catch those with her snappers faces. Chocolate, <laughs> peanut butter, satisfaction. Uh, like this crispy cookie, let you stay in the action. Won't slow you down. When you gotta get around. Twix, let's show them what you can do. Try no home. Twix, do, do, do. Keep on, keep on moving with Twix. I'm Robert Vaughn. Join me on my next Discover program, where we will examine a revolutionary new breakthrough in hair growth. Can balding be a thing of the past? 
is there really a product that can actually grow hair? We will have the doctor from Helsinki, Finland, who discovered this new product, the man who brought it to the United States, and most importantly, you will see live results from people throughout the world who have actually grown hair. Join me here on this station for Discover. Saturday, the night begins with terror. Werewolf can't wait to prowl at his new time. So lock your doors at 8, 7 central and up. Then, can a teenage boy handle a loving mother, a genius brother, sexy eyes, and evil spies? He can if he's a secret agent. My name's Baxter. Dean's Baxter. Talk about high-pressure sports. Then Just that I got him scared and I got him looking in the back of his head. But boy, you don't have eyes in the back of them head. I don't know too many people that do. Now, like you said, $10,000 is a lot of money. And also, like you said, I'm tough, I'm bad, and I do what I want to do. Don't you forget it. Now, you're saying, yes, I hurt you in Pensacola last week. <laughs> I meant to hurt you, boy. You don't think I do this just for fun, do you? Now, let me tell you, you're hollering that, hey, I'm going to get you, Stubbs. Hey, you're going to get me when I put my name on the contract. And I put my name on the contract when I get good and ready. When I think it's time to eliminate you, Bob Sweetan. But let me tell you something. My name may be on that contract Sunday night, or it may not. I may bring somebody with me to put them on that contract. <laughs> but you won't know until I get there. <laughs> $10,000 is what I'm after. And I'm going to collect it on you, Bob Sweetan. Now, let me talk about something else for a second. Now, there's a lot of guys running around here called a Coastal Connection. Boys, you're going to get your dues. <laughs> you're going to pay them real quick. There's a guy running around called Bob Holly. He's got a belt I'd like to have. But the main thing on my mind, sweet tan, is $10,000. And I'm going to collect it because I'm going to put you on the stretcher. But it's going to be when I want to do it, not when you want to do it. I do things my way. It's time you realize that, Bob Sweet Tan. World Organization of Wrestling is coming to Pensacola with a back-to-school special. Sunday, August 23rd, all children with a parent admitted free. Plus, the first 100 kids receive a free wrestling booklet. $10,000 bounty to Killer Qaddafi managed by world-famous Spudnik Monroe. If he retires, Bob Sweetan. A Texas tornado match with Wild Man Fargo and the Crazy Mike Diamond versus the Coastal Connection. Marcel Pringle versus Bob Holly and other matches. WOW hits the road coming to Faulkner State August 29th and to Evergreen, Alabama August the 24th. World Organization of Wrestling is coming to you. Wrestling fans at this time on the podium with me, Bruiser Bob Sweetan, and you took care of business in there, Bob. Let me tell you something, CJ. This year flag means a whole lot to me. And I'm sure it means a whole lot to the people sitting out there. There's a lot of men that fought, and there's a lot of men that have died for this flag. And I'm not any different, because I'm an American from the top of my head down to my big toe. And I'll do everything in my power. As long as I got a breath left in this body, I'll defend this flag and what it stands for. And what it stands for is freedom. Freedom of speech. Freedom of expression. Freedom that people can live free and do what the heck they want. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, some geek comes along here and sends in a tape recording nobody can understand. And all you can make out is $10,000 on my head. Well, let me tell you something, sheik, whoever you are. $10,000 doesn't scare me. Let me tell you, this is from the bottom of my heart. I've done a lot of things in my life. A lot of things that I may not be too proud of. But there's nothing I've ever done in my life that makes me feel ashamed. But anybody that comes out after that bounty, as far as I'm concerned, they really quench every right that an American has because they turn their back on the flag, the greatest flag in this whole wide world. Now let me tell you again, people, there's no way that this man's gonna back down. Sure, you may be able to beat on me. You may be able to knock me down that ring or the parking lot, but I know one thing, there's no way you're gonna make me stop. There's no way you're gonna make me quit. And there's no way that you're gonna stop me from defending the stature of this flag and what it stands for. God bless America. Bob Sweetan, telling it like it is.
We're in the ring now. Joining me in my, on the podium, Papa Rock. We've got the former World Organization Wrestling Television Champion in the ring there, Cowboy Dennis Gale. And he has got his hands full here with Mad Dog. He got one half of the, uh, the Bruiser Brothers out of Chicago, Illinois. This is uh, Mad Dog going against Cowboy Dennis Gale. This promised to be a great match, CJ. Dennis Gale from Jakin, Georgia. Mad Dog, Chicago, south side of Chicago. Takes Gale's head into the turnbuckle. Gale. That was the head bump. That's the head bump there by Mad Dog. Powerful body slam on Gale. Gale kicks out. That's a one. That's a one count. Oh man, I tell you, he buried one into the midsection of the Mad Dog. Shoots him into the rope. Oh, and a great high elevation. Go. Oh. Go. Oh. Dennis Gale is cleaning up on the Mad Dog. Dennis Gale seemed to be at his best. And he's a former World Organization Wrestling TV champion. And he and he wrestles as a champ. He sure does. He just takes a clothesline off the Mad Dog. Wrestling fans, don't forget World Organization Wrestling on the road coming up on Monday night, August 24th at the National Guard Armory in Evergreen, Alabama. Get out there, see some great wrestling. Saturday the 29th at Faulkner State Junior College in Bay Manette, you'll see Bob Sweetan, also Jerry Stubbs, the Coastal Connection, Fargo and Diamond. Great wrestling there. Also, CJ, we would like to remind them that on Saturday, that Saturday the 29th of this month, World Organization Wrestling will be at Faulkner State Junior College. On that big card will be such uh, wrestlers as the Coastal Connection, Bob Sweetan, Jerry Stubbs, Mr. Perfect, and many, many more. So that's over at Faulkner State Junior College at Baymanet. Can't forget in Pensacola, wrestling fans in the Pensacola area, Municipal Auditorium every Sunday night, bell time at 8.30. Pat Rose, you'll see the World Organization Wrestling Television Champion, Marcel Pringle. You'll see Jerry Stubbs, you'll see the Coastal Connection in Pensacola. Bob Sweetan. And Dennis Gale is starting to kick it into second or third gear. Oh, yeah. Buries a forearm into the Mad Dog. Great. Side Beal into a reverse headlock. Dennis Gale is really applying the pressure. He's really, he's really going at the Mad Dog now, CJ. You know right here on World Organization Wrestling, you know you will always see new faces on World Organization Wrestling. And this is really where the action is, CJ right here on World Organization Wrestling. You'll find it here, the very best. Senior referee in there, Ray Hall. And the Mad Dog shows a nice defensive move. Starts laying the lumber into the shoulder of Dennis Gale. That shoulder and that arm of Gale. Mad Dog is starting to pour it on. Oh! Well, grab that one. Yeah, yeah. You see what what part of the body you landed on? Flying forearm from Dennis Gale. He buries one into the midsection. Again, the Mad Dog, and they're just trading shots in the middle of the ring. Great action here on WOW Dennis Gale is pulling out all punches. Oh, man, damn. 
putting everything behind those shots. This has turned into a, a match between a Georgia boy and a, <laughs> and a mad dog. And a mad dog. What's the old saying? Uh, not the size of the dog, but the fight. That's true. That is true. The size of the fight in him. Dennis Gale is out on the concrete floor. And what happened Man. here? We have a disqualification. Ray Hall is just disqualified the Mad Dog. So the referee declared that Dennis Gale is the winner for the Mad Dog toasting uh, Cowboy Dennis Gale out of the ring. See some great wrestling here, Papa Rock. Most thing they did, and that was a disqualification there on the Mad Dog for the toasting uh, Dennis Gale out of the ring. But you know, CJ, we find all kind of action. This is where the action at, right here on Royal Organization Wrestling. You'll find the very best. We want to see you next week. We've got the president of the World Organization Wrestling here, Rip Tyler. Rip, come in, come in, take a spot. We got about a minute left here, oh. CJ. We're, we're running a little bit, a little bit long on the program. A couple of things I'd like to bring up. And I want the fans to know we're making every effort in the world to try to find out who this gentleman is putting this bounty on Bob Sweet Hand. Another thing is Jerry Stubbs has apparently came in here and decided he's going to collect this $10,000. And Mr. Stubbs, it may be a hard job. Uh, the other thing is, is that I'm worried and concerned for Bob Sweet Hand because the word is out now throughout the wrestling world, not only World Organization Wrestling, but throughout the wrestling world. $10,000 makes a lot of snakes crawl out among the woods. And this man has offered 10,000 of money his own deposit here at a bank at our, with, close to our office. And I'm, I'm appeared for Bob Sweet Ten. I've talked to him about it. He says, don't worry, he'll handle it. And apparently right now he's handling it. So just think about it. $10,000 on your head is a long time. CJ, I'm going to turn it over to you. And thank okay. You. That's going to do it for another edition of World Organization Wrestling for Papa Rock, Larry Pearson. I'm CJ Whitmore. We want to see you here next week on World Organization Wrestling.